this is bad. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. No, I take that back. I've done stupider stuff. But this is this is up there. This is definitely up there. What's going on, fellow gamers? Cast Clips here. We are back on Small Land Survive the Wilds today. Um, we still have our Hornet here. We got our Grasshopper over here. Um, so we're not actually going to take either one of these. Uh, we're going to go to a new area. And sad to say, I screwed up again. So I'll explain that in a minute. Um, I don't remember what all I did in the last video because I'm kind of doing these back to back. So the last one hasn't even posted yet. Um, I haven't even edited it yet, uh, and it's been a couple days because I was frustrated with how I screwed up. So, what I'm talking about is the video that I'm doing today, I technically already created. Um, so, it's not going to be any surprise to me, but I'll try to act as surprised as I can for you guys. Try to. Um, but, let's go over a few things because I can't remember if I did it in that video or the previous video. So, first of all, we crafted the bone armor here. Um... I still like the way the other armor looks, but this one technically has higher stats on it. If I upgrade the other armor, then it will have the same, but this is unupgraded armor, and it has um, a bit more uh, st stats to it, I guess. Uh, like the, the cold protection, I think on this is 6, as you can see, and I think on the other one it's 4. And then... Um, I think where, like, these pants are 28 protection, I think the... The other ones are 24, but I think if I upgrade them, then they will be the same protection. However, they still won't have the cold protection. So this is the best armor that I currently have. I also did create the Iron Scythe, Sickle, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, it technically does less than the sword right now, but that's because my sword is upgraded. Um, and I just want to show it off real quick because check this out. If we use the sword, these are the small attacks rapidly together. So those are all small attacks. You see a little combo there. And then we have the one strong attack. They don't have like a combo that goes with that. But check this out. With the uh, with the scythe, the strong attack. And that is actually two hits. He does an uppercut. It's really quick. He does an uppercut and then a downstroke. So uppercut, downstroke. Uppercut, downstroke. Um, the only bad thing about that is... For you to get the same amount with the heavy attack with the sword, um, to get like the same amount of attack. So what I mean is, like say this hits for 60, just by doing this. For you to hit 60 with this, you have to hit both attacks. So it'll do like 30 and 30. So you do have to get up in there close and personal. Um, and then as far as the small attacks, this is also pretty cool. This one goes a lot faster as well. And it has a nice little spin attack there. Now, it does seem like the stamina drains faster, which technically it does. But you're also swinging a lot faster. I think the range is a bit shorter, but it's still pretty nice. Um, so, what we did in the last one, or the video that I screwed up in that I didn't get to... Uh, or that you guys aren't technically going to be able to see the, um, like the correct footage, I guess, is... We went and we got the scroll, you guys know about that, and then we went and we got the tome, you guys know about that. What you don't know is I took the hornet, I went back to the merchant, we bought the last piece there, which was I think the rug or whatever, and then we went and we talked to the historian again. The historian told us that we need to go up into this area, the, um, the Forbidden Lands is what they call it. Um, he did say that there's a secret entrance. You can see it here. Secret door. Um, this will not pop up on your map until you are the, in this part of the story. So this is the only way to get across here. What I have noticed, and it sucks, but it's still kind of cool. What I have noticed, though, is for you to take any type of pet up there. Like if I take the bee, I still can't fly across. The bird will still attack us, so you still have to take him through the secret door. The secret door is a bit annoying. Um, it's kind of a long run underground, but I'll show you guys that. Um, and then we encountered some new things up there, which I will show you once we get there. But let me make a torch first. So I want some, uh, some firefly juice, if I can find some. Here we go. And this is actually one of the new things we got there. We got a stink gland. I will show you guys where I got that. Um, 
I think we need a stick or some wood. I don't know. If, I don't think we need resin. I think we need some of that. I don't. I don't remember what all we need. Let's go over here and let's take a look. Let's see, because we're gonna make the firefly torch. This one. So I need insect fat. Okay. Insect fat, which should be here somewhere. Here. There it is. All right, and uh, when we get there, I'll also explain why we're not taking our um, our hornet with us. Because he can fit through the underground thing, but um, it's too dangerous for him. All right, so I made two. And then I'll put all this stuff back real quick. So that can go there. That can go there. Now we got our wood here and our fiber. All right, and I'm not worried about taking anything else. Um, it's kind of a dangerous area no matter what, so it is what it is. All right, and they are not on follow, so we are good. Yeah, I I did this video, um, and I was like, oh man, check this out, I found this, check this out, I found this. And then like as I was prepping the videos for distribution and editing and everything, I realized that, well no, when I was saving the video, actually right after, when I was saving the video to make sure that I was titling it properly, because I title all my videos before I edit and everything, um, I realized that uh, I wasn't recording. So what I did is I saved it off the PS5. The problem is that my audio does not record onto the PS5, which is why players can't hear me. So I still had the gameplay, but no audio. And it's a lot easier to remake the video um, like this instead of trying to go back and do the audio over top of it. Oh, there's a storm coming in. It just got dark. Actually, it's fine because we're going to go through the secret door, so it will be all right. It does sound like a storm's coming. I don't know if you guys can hear that, that lightning and thunder, or thunder. Oh, well, okay, that's fine. We need to go down here anyway. So there's a bridge that we jumped across for the first time we seen the bird. You actually need to come down here. And like I said, I don't know if you have access to this door. Um, like if you just stumble across it, I don't know how that works. Um, I think there's a green beetle down here. Which, he's not even out right now. Oh, it's a dragonfly. Nope, we're not going to do that. No thanks. But this is a door here. We're just going to run inside. Can I close it? Can I close it? Can't close it. Nope. Ah, I knew he was going to do that. All right, that's fine. We'll just bring him with us. Um, he's not going to follow us all the way through. Um, so you guys can come down here. You don't need a torch. Uh, but I would suggest bringing one because your first um, run through here is going to be very, very dark. You will have some light up ahead, but um, it's going to be very hard to navigate down here if you don't have light at all. So I would bring at least one torch. At least. And then there is some flint in here. Um, up ahead, there is one enemy that is in here. It is a, um, a stag beetle. Right here. He comes from the left. That's his hole. And then our tunnel is right there to the right. So we can't go in there. But his tunnel is, or our tunnel is right there. See what I mean? 31 and 31, that's the heavy attack. Oh. Okay, we're just going to go at it. Alright, well, we're out of stamina, so maybe not. still got us. All right, there we go. Go ahead and grab all this heavy chitin and insect fat and whatever else he dropped. I'll go ahead and bandage up here. 
All right, that is the only enemy that you will come across. Um, I do think he's higher level than normal. I didn't really pay attention to that just now, but everything coming through here is a higher level. All right, so we have an opening here and lights, and then we can go up that way. These do go to the same place. I will show you in a second. Um, but you want to come to the right first where the lights are. Usually it means that there's some type of civilization here. And then we come across this place, which is completely dark. If you don't have your thing, that's the only thing right there giving off light. I think there's one other... Maybe not. Okay. All right, but there is a note here on the table. Hopefully it'll let us read it again. So it says, from these notes, it looks as though Melkar continued his research here in secret. So, my apologies. I didn't tell you guys who Melkar is. Melkar is... Um, the person that is supposed to be able to help us in order to um, decipher everything that's going on, because we do have the notes for the um, for the old tongue that we got. Um, and there's the tome, um, but there is an elixir, I guess, from what they were telling us. There's an elixir that we need, and Melkar was the one that was studying it. So we're looking for Melkar. But it says Melkar continued his uh, his research in here in secret. Um, he talks about taking refuge in this cavern to avoid a dangerous tribe in the overworld. Uh, it seems he was able to find the final ingredient for the elixir in this land. He doesn't sound disheartened. In fact, he believed that the vast monuments uh, constructed by the giants indicate he's traveling in the right direction. It looks like he was planning a venture to the north. But his notes tail off as though he was interrupted unexpectedly. And that's all it says. Melkar is nowhere in here. There's nothing else in here that I've found that you can interact with or anything. So back through there where I said like how it um how it kind of breaks off into two tunnels. One is this way, that one is the other way. This will take us that same way if you just come up here. There's two ways up. You can go from that left side or the right side. Um, but this will... Uh, intersect with that same tunnel you're not missing anything in the other tunnel there's no supplies or anything like that in there um as soon as you stop seeing the lights that's where the tunnel is so here we are so this is where the tunnel is you'll come from that direction because going up is what's going to lead you out and like i said the stag beetle was the only thing that's in here there should not be anything else in here hopefully i didn't trap that dragonfly in here somehow so this is the new area here we can turn off our torch there. Um, there are, what is it, grasshoppers? Yep, so there's a, like a pinkish reddish one over there. There's one here. Um, I think they look pretty cool. They are normal grasshoppers if you look, well, not that. If you look here, it just says grasshopper. So what that means is they are friendly. They're not lovers. Um, don't get me wrong, they are neutral friendly. They will attack you if you attack them, but they won't just random, like they're not aggressive. They won't just flat out attack you. So since we're here, we're going to grab some of this stuff in case we need to build a shelter or anything. I did not do one the last time. But we're going to grab some supplies here. There is uh, quite a bit of saplings over here that you can grab from. And just be careful when you're swinging at these as to not hit the grasshopper or anything like that. And same thing. Um... I have not tried to cross back over, so right over there is the other side. As you can see, the bird's not coming for us, but if you fly over here with the bee, the bird comes for us. I don't know about flying back because I only brought the bee once, and the reason why I'm not bringing him this time, I can tell you now, is because he almost died. Everything over here is a very high level, and they hit very, very hard. I had someone uh, kill me very quickly. And I will show you who it was that killed me um, as soon as we get out of this area. But we're going to get some more saplings here first. I have not um, been all over this area. I just discovered a few things and that was it. But I will show you everything that, uh, that I had discovered up to this point. And why I did not keep going. I don't know if I am going to keep going in this area. Um, it's definitely possible, but it's sketchy. Okay, so we have uh, quite a bit of sapling stuff. Um, that should be enough to at least build like a little one by one if we need to. 
All right, so the only way out of this area is by going up through here. Unless you have a flying mount or something, then obviously you can just fly. But you'll just come up through here. There's also strawberries here. There is the, um, I think it was the cyclamen plants that are here. So as you can see, there are black hornets here. At least I think that's a black hornet. I have not messed with them yet. It looks like them. <clears throat> but I, I have not messed with them at all yet. Haven't had to. Hopefully we still don't. All right, so I came up through there. He was further that way last time. I came up through there. I was following this path here. And as you can see, it breaks off into different areas. So we could have went right. We could have went this way or we could have went left. I went left. Just to uh, keep a clear out, you know, in case anything's like coming at me. That way I can, I don't have all the grass and stuff in my face. Um, right here is where we ran into our first, um, not big issue, but something interesting. So in there, you can't really see them from here. Um, it is a stink bug. Oh, there he is. To me, it does not look like stink bug. It looks more like an aphid. He has two attacks. That was one of them. His other attack is a poison cloud that he will do. Um, if he's going to do it. Jesus, I cannot dodge this guy. He's only level four. I don't want to get too close to the other one. Of course, storm. There's his poison cloud. This is who we got the uh, the poison gland from. Ow. Okay, you're dead. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish him off there. Um, yeah, let's go back to the uh, to the tunnel real quick. It's gonna be the easiest thing to do. I mean, we could just build real quick, but it's just gonna be easier just to come down here. A lot faster too. All right, and we'll just run back inside here. We'll hang out. Actually, we can probably stand right here. Yeah. Even though there's an opening right there. Small opening, but um, it does say we are in a house right here. So we'll go ahead and eat some food. I'll go ahead and heal up. And I will wait out the storm. I will bring you guys back in a second once the, uh, once the storm's over. Alright, guys. So the storm is over. I accidentally drank some poison resistance. I pulled out the torch. But it's right next to the poison resistance, so I accidentally drank some. I should have drank that when I was fighting the stink bug, but it's fine. So, um, let me check something real quick. We're going to come over here. We're going to check what level this grasshopper is. So, level 17 grasshopper. The uh, the stink bug was only level 4, but as you can see, he did do some pretty, pretty bad damage to us. That one's 13. I don't think we can see what level the uh, the hornet is without him attacking us, and I'd rather not fight him. Just because we don't have to. But there's more interesting things I want to show you guys. At least at least two two interesting things. i got to be careful because I think there's a hornet on the fence over here somewhere too. Alright, so back over here where we killed our first stink bug, I think there's another one in there. Um, last time he did come out and fight us, but I don't know if he's stuck in there. Nope, there he is. Okay, we'll go ahead and kill him too then. Ah, I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Because we have our poison resistance thing on. Alright, you keep doing that because I'm not taking much damage by you doing that. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and bandage just because we can. Alright, so... See the uh, the mushrooms right up there in front of us, guys? Right there on that log? These mushrooms, it looks like they only grow on the logs. Well, I guess roots. Sorry, I keep saying logs. I guess they only grow on the roots. That is how you get the reishi leather. Um, it's actually from the mushroom. And then, as you can see, there are giant cockroaches here. 
Um, there's actually, yeah, I was going to say there should be two in this area. I fought both of them the last time. They attack the exact same way as the other ones. So it's not that big of an issue, but they are annoying to fight in general. And I don't like the way they look because they freak me out. So as you can see here, Raishi Mushroom. When I picked it up, that is how I learned the, uh, the Raishi Leather. And he's going to come and attack us. Maybe. Oh, he didn't. Okay, I want to grab that last one real quick, too. Because I think we need a lot of this for more advanced armor and stuff. They should, um... They should introduce armor in this game that has a stealth factor to it. Like how they have the cold protection or like edge resistance, stuff like that. They should have one that has stealth protection. Or stealth... Uh, not protection, but I don't know what the other word would be. Uh, just a stealth stat, basically. Like less visibility. Alright, so we are coming up to the next... I don't want to say important area, but the next area that uh, that I thought was very interesting. So I think there's a hornet over by the bench over there. Um, and there's cockroaches over there. There's one right there, a cockroach. I think there's a hornet up over there somewhere. Oh, and you're getting close, so we're going to come back this way. All right, so these are poisonous mushrooms. Ah, spider. I forgot about these guys. Okay. Come here, spider. Come on. As you can see, he is level 52. So, stuff does get uh, definitely a higher level here. Um, but we are... Speaking of which, I don't think I went over my level. I have gotten quite a bit of levels. Uh, as you can see, oh look, and I haven't even put in two of them. Um, as you guys can see, I am level 46. So there are my stats, if anyone is interested. Um, but, this is the next important area over here. So if you look right over there, you can see a little house. Um, I originally came this way because that spider was alive, or was dead. But it was like the stuff was piled up right here. Or maybe it was this spider, I don't know. And I don't know what killed it, because there was no hornets or anything here. But I will show you in a second what killed it. Gotcha. Okay, so I was coming up over here, and you can actually see one of them right there. So that is a little person there, and there's another little person. Oh my god! Wow! So these people are the, um... The hostile tribe that they were talking about in the notes. Um, I think they can only run up right there. They can't jump up here. Um, I was standing here. And I was watching just to see if they were friendly. One went running by me and I was like, oh, he's friendly. He's going to fight something. So I was following him. And then once he got up here, he immediately turned and tried to attack me. These two here, um, they're all aggressive. These two here are very, uh, I don't say weak. They're, they're predictable, they're, they're not hard to kill. They're annoying, don't get me wrong. They're definitely annoying, um, but they're not hard to kill. Um, you do have to be careful, obviously. I'm just going to go ahead and attack these guys, like, just all the way through real quick. As you can see, he is carrying one of those spears that we found in, in the other playthrough. I'm just trying to finish them off real quick. Hi already. Okay. Alright. And then we will go ahead and heal up. Go ahead and finish off this dude. Now keep in mind, we have the highest armor on right now, guys. The highest armor. They also drop hoots and healing patches. And I don't know what that is. Okay. It must have been just like his foot or something. Um, so they dropped... Hoot, uh, lesser 
health elixirs, and uh, healing patches. That was all from them. Um, but there's another guy. This guy I don't like. He finished me off. Like, he killed me very quickly. Um, he is an elite. Like, that's even his name. It's in his name that he's an elite. I don't know where he's at. He's very well armored. He is also a high level. Is he inside? I'm going to grab this here. You can pick up this pawn right here. Oh, bishop that time. Okay, so does it give me different pieces all the time? He must be stuck inside. Is he stuck inside of there? Nothing above me. I think he's stuck inside. Yeah, so he's stuck inside. Um, this guy has great armor on him. If you look at his level, he's only level 4. He has resistance to blunt, edged, and piercing. So, amazing armor. Um, and his combo attack is crazy. Like, it is unstoppable. Ow. See what I mean? And look at that. He only hit me once with that combo, and he did 34 damage to me. Dude, if I can kill him. He killed me last time. Oh, hello. Okay, so there's his armor. This guy is crazy. Really strong. So this is a face-off from the last time, because like I said, he killed me last time. I would keep swinging at him, but his combo is like... Non-stop. It's like he doesn't run out of stamina. Speaking of which, because that hits so weak, I should switch to the sword. Yeah, see, because the sword hits harder. From just one hit, I mean. I'm not going to lie, I'm concentrating pretty hard here, guys. Like, it it seems like this fight is not that hard, but it's... And it's not. It's just his, his hitting is so hard that I don't want to get hit as much as possible. Oh, he's dead. He's so dead. Nice. Okay, so Poison Antidote. Interesting. Oh, he can't take his axe. Oh, he has that axe, the one that we can make now. Speaking of which, I don't know if I, if you guys know that I can make that axe. Or that I've seen it. I don't remember. A foul smelling concoction devised by Lysandra that can instantly cure a poison small folk. Takes away 1,000 poison. What is this for? What would give you 1,000 poison? That is crazy. I wonder if I should take it to her. Um, so, when I came over here with the uh, with the Hornet, he almost killed the Hornet. I let the Hornet hit him. The Hornet was doing decent damage, more damage than I was doing. Um, but the Hornet almost died in like three hits. By the time I got on the Hornet and got the Hornet out of there, he literally had one health. And I'm not exaggerating. The Hornet had one health. And I was lucky to get him out of there. Um, so the other area that I explored is over here. Um, because I was able to fly up. Hello? Okay. I don't care about you. Because I was able to fly up, um, over that way, next to that tree, there is a, um, what's it called? A, a bird fountain. And that is where the little blue bird is. There's a blue bird and there's another bird up there. I don't know if you can tame both of them. Um, but obviously we've seen the one guy on the little blue jay looking bird. Um, that's where I've seen it. 
it's right over here inside the fence I won't be able to get too close I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it from here um, you can go over to that car and everything there's more uh, tribesmen down there I guess is what we'll we'll call them tribesmen there they have a little house on the other side of that car so I don't want to mess with them again um, where's that bird fountain there it is right there there's the bird fountain the birds, there was two birds. It's like the little blue one, and it's like a, um, I think it was like a brownish and orange colored one that was there as well. Um, those are the two birds that I seen. I did not go over there. I ended up staying in this area. I just looked around a bit with the bee. Um, I ended up going over by that barrier over there, and then I teleported home because I didn't want to fly across and risk losing the uh, the hornet from the bird or whatever if that happens. Like I said, I don't know if that happens, but I didn't want to risk it. Man, these stink bugs are everywhere. Um, but that's that's basically it. I didn't really... Oh, hello. I did not even see you. You're just chilling there. I thought it was a snake at first. That kind of scared me. Can I get up there? I don't think I can jump that high. Okay, 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 you're level 30. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Those were two crits in a row, I like it. More lizards, okay. We can do this. He didn't even hit me that hard, even when he hit me. And he's dead, look at that. Sweet. I hear another one, something. I don't know. Okay. How do I get up there? I want to show you guys the birds. There you go. You can see the blue one there. The other one is sitting across from him. Or at least it was when I came through here the last time. Like I said, I don't know what else is here. These lizards are new to me. Um, because I didn't really explore anything else. I wanted to make sure that I had you guys with me and everything. And the other video was kind of long because we did actually go and talk to the historian and everything. So, go ahead and kill as many of these lizards as we can because they have, uh, he's 27. Because they have, um, a lot of hide and bones and stuff and I think we're going to need that. Come on. Ow. May as well get my two hits in again. Hey, look at that. And we leveled up. I don't know what the what the cap of the level is in this game either. Oh, it gave us six points. Did we level up twice? We did, because I was 46. When was the other time we leveled up? Oh, was it when we killed that guy? I'm so out of it, guys. I don't know anything anymore. Be cool if we could find like a little RC plane and fly it. Like Stuart Little. So I wonder how you. Hmm. Because I don't know how you would even get up there. Would you have to like glide down to it? From like the tree or something? Or do you have to like come over with a bee or a lizard or something like that? I don't like fighting these. They're so annoying. Sorry, I had to mute myself, guys. I was coughing up a storm there. Yep, that's it. Coughing up a storm. Oh, that actually goes... I thought that went straight down. That actually goes that way. So you would just walk up there. There's like little light things up there. Should we just go up and try to approach the bird? I have a feeling he's going to try to eat us. We look like a bug. 
Just trying to see what else is out here. Oh, um, I don't remember where it was at. I saw, I had seen some more of those mushrooms. There's some up over here, right there. Nope, not those. Where'd they go? I just seen the mushrooms. Oh, they're there. I was like, I just seen them. They have a very distinct look from the other ones. Okay, there's more tribesmen over there. We'll have to be careful with that. But that is how we get up there. I wonder, can we befriend them? Is that how we get to the bird? Because because it looks like you have to go through them and straight up there. But yeah, look at that. That looks like some kind of like throne or something up there. Hmm. I wonder if we can like trade with them or something. Oh, that's right. There's a merchant up here somewhere. I forgot about that. We should go and pay him a visit too. Or at least the traveling merchant is also up here. But we should go and look at what he has in this area if it's the same stuff or not. Okay, so... There's a stink bug there. Something over there behind him. I can't tell what that is. Right there. Right there. I can't... Right there. Right there. Can't tell what that is. If it's anything... What's that? Oh, that's another stink bug. Is this just stink bugs everywhere? There's some bark over here. As far as I haven't seen like ants or anything, I mean, I would think ants are just everywhere. Go up here and see if we can get a oh 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 whoa oh, oh, oh no 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 see if we can get a better layout of the land a bit make sure there's no bees or anything flying above me hornets Yeah, see, there's two little birds up there. Stink bug. Big old dead tree. Interesting. I thought there'd be a lot more... Something's near me. I think it's a stink bug. Sounds like a stink bug. It is a stink bug. He's right there. I figured there'd be a lot more stuff here. Um, so that back area over there, that is all like, uh, like the street and it's like all tore up and stuff. Like it comes this way and then it like just, it turns into like a highway basically. And it looks like you can go there, but I haven't tried yet. All right. We're going to go over here. We're going to see what's up with this bird. Probably going to die. But in the name of science, right? All right, so we're trying to avoid the small foot. Oh, they're up on top too. So we'll probably have to run right by them or at them. So there's one there. I think that's one. Yeah, there's one right there. It looks like an elite. And then there was one up top crouch. The crouch one, I think, is the guy with the spear. So we can take him. I mean, we can take him too, but that's a lot of unnecessary fighting. Nothing home. Okay, and there's the chunky dude with the sword. Stag beetle? Okay, okay. Can I walk up that slide? Looks like we can. It's not too steep. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything up here. Probably shouldn't be up here, but... I heard wings. Like something was flying. Go 
Okay. Build a little house up here or something. There's also not much um, supplies over here. Like, I mean, yeah, we had the saplings in the beginning, but... Not really seeing much of anything over here. Wonder if this is what they mean by the game's unfinished. I don't know if the game's unfinished. It's just something I read somewhere. I also don't know how old that post was, so... It's almost nighttime. Alright, we're just going to... We're going to go straight down in there. Um, okay, there's definitely something flying near me. Are you under it? There's something flying around me. Oh, there's a chess piece down there. Oh, dude! You think we could set up the chess board? I wonder if that's like a... Easter egg or something. Because they had the chess boards that were, um... On that thing. That's a stag beetle. That's not what I was hearing. I was hearing wings. Let's drop. Uh, we'll drop the. Sorry, I had to cough again, guys. <clears throat> we'll drop the spider eyes. I haven't used them at all yet. I'm sure we're probably going to need to, but whatever. Black Bishop. How low were you guy? 40. Oh, okay. I also don't have a weapon equipped. I had my axe equipped. Okay. Oh, okay. I just did that. Oh, okay. No backing down now, right? There you go. It's all your fault. Now you're dead. Okay. What's that? Oh, the spider eye that I dropped. Okay. Uh, let's bandage. Oh, poop. We should be using the other bandages first. Here, actually, we'll do that right now. Because that one's not going to fill us up all the way. We'll wait till that one stops healing. And then we'll use one of the bandages we got from those guys. Okay, so there's another stag beetle. And, okay. Shut me up. That bandage did take us all the way up. We'll go around this beetle. Hopefully there's nothing over here that's going to just jump out and attack us. Take a quick peek. Yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. It turns into a road out there, and it looks like you can go that way, but I'm more interested in the bird real quick. And I know we're not going to be able to do anything because we don't have, like, any type of treat or anything to give him. But I just want to see if he's hostile or what. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to eat that food. We're going to... I hear bugs everywhere. Okay. Alright, can I just attract one of you guys? Hey. Hey, I'm here. Come up here. Or your friend can't see you dying. Okay, well, your friend found you. Okay, who's first? Same time, alright. You guys are cheating, by the way, but... Oh, I couldn't do my strong attack. And now he's just getting hit after hit on me. Oh, he boy! Oh, that's right. That thing poisons. I forgot about that. So 
So let's do this. And let's drink some health. Okay, dude, stop it. Jesus. food on them. Okay, so let's, let's use their bandages because they're weaker. So the bandages are weaker, I mean. Clearly they are not weaker. All right, what do they got? Mushroom steak, mushroom steak. All right, so that's one bandage. There's another one. Oh, look, and we can use their lesser health thing, too, but we won't, at least not yet. Because that should fill us up all the way, I think. All right. Um, so I thought I saw another guy out here somewhere. I mean, I know the elites on the other side, but I thought I saw another one up in here. Maybe not. Unless he's inside there. Okay, so maybe they're friends with the birds? Where's the elite? There he is. Okay, he shouldn't see me from that far away, I don't think. This is bad. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. No, I take that back. I've done stupider stuff. But this is, this is up there. This is definitely up there. Oh, is there a guy here? I think I just saw a guy. No, it's like a little podium thing. Okay, so it's the same type of bird. Oh, there's a there's a dude here though. Hello? I unequip the weapon, show him I'm friendly. Can I talk to you? Malik. That's not who we're looking for. We're looking for Melkar. But this is Malik the Orn... Ornith... Ornith... What? Ornithomancer? Whatever. Talk. Uh, ah, the interloper reaches me at last. Greetings. You've been expecting me? A few events below escaped my notice, and your arrival is not among them. I suspected you'd find your way up here eventually. You should know that these are the lands of the... Aether tribe and your kind is not welcome here. The Aether tribe, uh, what do you have against my people? I've never heard of you. Um, the other option is who are you? And the other option is look for signs of another interloper, a man who have, a man who might have crossed the river a very long time ago. Do you know? Okay. So it seems like these are options to pick. Not ones that we can go back through. So we're going to pick this one. I, we might be able to go back through them, but I'm going to pick this one first. Uh, that doesn't sound familiar, but then I'm more concerned about the present than I am the past. You could pay a visit to the Scorpion Temple. There's scorpions in the game? Scorpion Temple in the Amber Valleys northwest of here. I know the High Priestess is well-versed in the matters of history. Maybe she can pers can be persuaded to help you. Okay. Who are you? So it looks like we do have all these things. Uh, I am Malik, trader, uh, trader and whatever. Um, and you are standing in my sky temple. Okay. Uh, what do you trade in? 
I trade in artifacts. Most of the ones in this area are far too large to consider moving, but there are some smaller pieces scattered around. These have become popular dec decorative pieces among the rich, making it a lucrative business indeed. I see, would you be willing to trade with me as well? So I wonder if he's talking about the chess pieces. I'm afraid I have nothing left to sell at this time. In fact, if you happen to come into possession of certain artifacts, I'd be happy to take them off your hands. There is currently a very high demand for these wooden pieces um, you see by your side. Uh, I'd compensate you generously for a piece you were, for any piece you were to bring me. Sky Temple. This is a Sky Temple. I'm sorry, this Sky Temple is where I do my work as an ortho, orthomancer. Or ornithomancer, whatever. I breed and train creatures of the sky. My birds are uniquely tolerant to carry the weight of a rider on their back, making them a most prized possession. Uh, far f from far and wide, lords and ladies of the amber valley valleys come to me to secure their winged companions. Impressive. Could I too acquire one of these winged companions? Sell my birds to an under underdweller. If anyone were to find out besides, I don't have any eggs available at the moment. What if I were to bring you an egg? Oh, okay, so I guess we have to find an egg. That is easier said than done. Acquiring an egg means having, means braving one of their nests. You'd be likely, unlikely to survive the, un, the endeavor. Um, still, if you were to manage, I might be able to make an exception for you for the right price, of course. Of course, and what exactly is the right price? 500 hoots. Okay. Very well. Um, oh, so there's two things here. Uh, there's a huge bird attacking anyone trying to cross the river by the broken bridge. Is it yours by chance? Ah, sadly, I can't take credit for that majestic creature. Is he giving you trouble? You could say that. Hmm. We can't have birds eating potential customers. I might be able to do something about him. You, but you'll have to bring me 10 stink glands. Okay, stink glands, what for? I will prepare a concoction to solve your bird problem, but it's no good without the glands. So am I going to have to like put on like a stink gland every time I cross the river? Um, I see I'll return when I have them very well. All right, and then the very top one here. Oh, wait, he also has a trade thing too now. Um, the very top one here says, an Aether tribe, what do you have against my people? I've never even heard of you. I'm not surprised we only recently learned of your presence here in the Overland a few moons ago. Your people existed as little more than scattered references in our old texts. Then why do you greet us with hostility? The ancient texts speak of the atrocities committed by your people against our ancestors, our leader, Aedric, Aedric? Edric, whatever, uh, is convinced you've emerged from the depths to wage war on us. Okay, so nothing else there. We can't even defend ourselves in that sentence. Um, but let's trade. So we have an Icarus armor set. Oh, so we have to give him the stuff to get that set. And then Icarus wings. I think this is the armor set that that guy was wearing. Um, the one who did have the bird. So it looks like we'll just have to collect a bishop, a king, a knight, a pawn. So basically one of everything. Twice. In order to get the just the schematics. That's not even crafting it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so it is these. So that's a knight and there's a... What is that? A bishop, I think? Yeah, because the rook is the castle. So now that we talked with him, are these other guys going to be hostile towards us? Also, is this bird going to attack me if I go near it? Oh, I can't. The invisible wall. Okay. All right. So let's see if this guy down here will still attack us. I think we're going to call it after this, guys. We're going on an hour again. Um, but I do want to come down here and see if this guy's going to be hostile towards us. Now that we've talked with his leader. I don't think it's going to change. I think they're still going to be hostile towards us. Hey. Yep. Oh, God. I didn't think you could make it up here. Uh, 
Oh, didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. All right, so we need 10 stink lands, which I think I have like four at home, and we have three on us. I don't know if I actually have four or not, though, so we'll have to... Either way, we'll have to kill some more. But yeah, we'll leave it at that for now, guys. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comment section. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. To the channel, I should say, not the video. I mean, yeah, I'll still like the video, though. Um, but go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are liking what you see, I would greatly appreciate that. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Um, the subscriptions are growing slowly, but they're growing to me, progress is progress. Even if it's like one a week, I'm happy, guys. You guys are, are absolutely amazing. I love you guys. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I've talked about it before. I am. I, I mean, I think anyone trying to do YouTube, unless they're, they plan on, you know, like they already have their dream job or whatever they want to do, um, then they're probably already set in their ways, and that's probably what they want to do with whatever they have right now. I'm trying to turn this into a career, so I won't lie, the more subscribes, the more likes, the more comments, everything you guys are doing is absolutely helping me. Um, I, I've almost given up a few times, um, but once I got partnered with YouTube, which takes a thousand subscribers, I've been trying to push harder and harder. The problem is that I still do work a 40 hour job, 40 hour a week job. Um, luckily it's not one that I'm required to work 40 plus hours anymore. So it is a bit more relaxed than it used to be. Um, uh, but that is why these, I don't think I've ever heard them make that noise. Um, but that's why, uh, a lot of times like you guys won't see a video coming out at, um, seven in the morning. It's because I'm a little behind and I end up waiting until I get off work and like redo the video or, finally edit the video. Oh, what was that? Was that an owl? You guys saw that, right? That big white thing that came down? Oh, it's a regular bird. Oh, is there a nest up there? There's a nest right there, I think. Um, but that's why, uh, that's why sometimes you guys won't see a video right away or whatever. Um, it's not that I'm trying to you know, not do it because I do enjoy the videos. It it originally did start as a hobby, um, just because I didn't think that that you know people would enjoy the videos, people would get anything out of them, anything like that. So I just I just did them. You know, like I, I wanted to learn something new. I'm always playing video games. Like after work, it is a huge stress reliever for me. Um, I'm not going for pity here, but I'm just telling you guys a bit about myself. I am a combat veteran. Um, I do have PTSD. Uh, and sometimes playing games just helps take the edge off. Um, a, a lot of times, I should say. Not just sometimes. Um, you know, keeps uh, keeps the mind from wandering, put it that way. Um, but... Like I said, I started it as a hobby just because I like playing video games and then looking at, you know, what's possible from playing video games, what's possible from doing videos and everything. It definitely helped with um, realizing that it might be something that I could do professionally. And, and I don't mean, oh, I'm going to do, um, you know, professional tournaments or anything like that. I don't think I'm good enough to do games like that. I just, I have a passion for video games. I always have. And I think that, is there an egg in here? There is an egg. I can harvest it right now. All right. looks like we're going to get us an egg real quick. Um, but yeah, so I think it's, oh, the bird's going to come, isn't he? He sure is. He sure is. Nope, nope, friendly. I mean, I'm not friendly, but... Oh. Okay, 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 my bad, dude. Dude, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't want to do this. 
I have to. Um, but yeah, see, realizing that I could do this professionally and, you know, still keep my sanity and enjoy what I do for a living, it's what kind of got me into wanting to do YouTube videos and actually make a career out of it. So I think that if it happens, um, you know, then obviously I'm going to, I'm going to live by that. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do as much as possible. I, I'm trying to do as much as possible now, but with working a full-time job and everything, it can get a little bit hectic, but I at least wanted to point that out as to why I do the videos and that you guys have been a big part of helping me accomplish something that, that has been a huge, I guess, goal in life. So, I do appreciate you guys. Oh, please don't hit me. I just realized, and I'm sure this is a real name for a bird, but it's called a blue tit. Jesus. Is he blocking me from going? No, he's not. He is. Wow, okay. Alright, so this fight is actually going to take a while. We're just going to bail. Um, I'll, I'll come back with more more health potions, everything like that. We'll, we'll wait to do this, guys. Oh, I wonder if I can get him stuck in here. That might be something I might look at, too. See if I can just get him stuck inside here. All right, but yeah, uh, like I said, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and teleport home from here. Um, if you guys do have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the love. Um, one thing that I never ask you guys to do as well, well, I have, but I haven't recently. Normally, I'm just like, ah, oh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell icon. Also, if you guys would not mind, um, go ahead and uh, share the video too. If you guys come across a video that you really like or something like that, or one that you enjoyed, if you would not mind, go ahead and share that video as well because that also helps out the channel. So thanks again, everyone, and um, you all have an awesome day. I'm going to go ahead and teleport out of here before this bird kills me. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.